Good morning. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Um, wow. I've been missing y'all. I've been missing coming on here doing my little morning devotion. Um, your girl just been busy. Work got me busy. Um, I just celebrate a birthday this weekend, Saturday. Um, your girl just turned 43. I knew I'm out of shame to tell my age. Your girl just turned 30 to 43. I thank God for blessing me um, to see another birthday. Um, I just thank him. I give him praise, honor, all the glory. I just thank God for allowing me to reach another year. You know, some people are not able to reach another year. Some people are not able to see another day. But I just give him praise and thanks for keeping me and blessing me to see another another year. So I want to come on here real quick and share the morning devotion with you all. Because it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, hopefully the Lord's will, I'll be able to do um, the, the New Beginners Bible Study on tomorrow. Hopefully, y'all. I just got a busy schedule. Um, I'm still trying, trying to find a place. So, um, hopefully, um, I'm able to um, uh, give you all the new, um, new Beginners Bible Study on tomorrow. But the morning devotion, I want to read it real quickly before I have some students interrupt me. I might have to pause the video if I get any students. But the morning devotion is titled, A Gift. A Gift. A gift can be anything. A gift can be a present. A gift can be a gift of life. Um, a gift, like I said, can be anything. Gift of life. It can be a present. It can be the gift of the Holy Spirit. You know, there's so many gifts. So, before I read this, I just want to say a brief prayer um, to start us off. Heavenly Father, in the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ, ruler of all things, Lord, I thank you. I thank you, I honor you, I give you praise on today. Lord, I pray and ask that you touch your beautiful, lovely people on today, that you lead them and guide them on today, Lord. That if there be any sickness in their body, I pray that you heal them, that you touch them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I pray that you help them, that you encourage them, that you lift up their spirit on today. And Lord, I pray and ask that you lead and guide me through the morning devotion, that you touch my mouthpiece, that you let flesh decrease and you increase, Lord, lead me and guide me. Grant me the knowledge and the clarity of your word. Find every human spirit, any spirit of distraction. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, y'all. If y'all can, you know it's in the background. Y'all excuse the noise. I am my fan. Um, and as usual, the neighbors got their dog barking which is across from the school that I'm working at. Um, it's hot, y'all. It's supposed to be 91 today when I'm at in Chicago. Um, I hope where you, where you all at that the weather is a little, you know, it's less, less than that, less than the 90s, because right now it's in the 90s. I'm trying to stay cool. Um, so I'm gonna read the morning devotion, and the morning devotion is titled, A Gift. And it said, Lord, every morning you hear my voice. Every morning I tell you what I need and I wait for your answer. This is Psalms 5 and 3. And the morning devotion read, Christmas morning with children is unprepared. 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 What is what it what exalt it into this gratitude is the anticipation and joy the kids out to all those around them at the possibility of one thing a gift and I don't know about you all but I know like on Christmas day growing up on Christmas day as a child like we was just anticipating we just couldn't wait and my family the way it was we couldn't open up our gifts until after everyone ate you know how usually people you open up your gifts in the morning time well my family my mom our tradition was we had to wait to after everybody eat their food and then we open up our gifts it wasn't so you wake up in the morning you open up your christmas gift now it's different because now that you know my parents they passed away so now we change the tradition it's like you can hey you can open up your christmas present in the morning if you want to but back when we was doing when i was growing up we couldn't open up our christmas gifts to after everyone 
until after everyone ate and I believe it was so was because my mom wanted to wait till everyone get there you know me to all the family members get there so but it's a, a gift in the same manner every single time our sun has moved its way over the horizon line into our skies can be defined as one thing a gift it doesn't matter what season it is or if those skies are cloudy full of storms, crystal clear, or speckled with fluffy white marshmallows, when our eyes flutter upon the first sight, the first light, God himself is there holding the gift for you. Anticipation is for, not only is he warning, not only is he waiting with a gift, but he's waiting to hear your response to the gift. That is, that's just, that's just awesome. That is amazing. That's like God, He's waiting. Like when He gives you something, He's just waiting to see your response. Of after He, He just waiting to get your response after He gave you that gift. Okay, let me see how she's going to respond. I just blessed her with this. I just gave her with that. I just want to see how she responds. And then if it's the right response. He's like, okay, this is how she act when I bless her. I'm gonna give her some more. You know. So I just love that part. And it said, not, not only is he waiting with a gift, but he's waiting to hear your response to the gift and be honest with him because it is your voice he wants to hear. Not your polite, religious, adequate, adequacy. Let the beauty, let the beauty of this sink into your heart for a moment. The God of the universe is presenting you with extraordinary gifts. What do you need? What do you need? And then there's a prayer, and it said, Father, thank you for the gift of breath in my lungs. That's the most, that's the most important gift that you can ask God in the morning when you first wake up. Lord, I thank you for my lungs. I thank you for the breath of life. Lord, I thank you for my eyes. I thank you for my ears that I'm able to hear you in the morning. Lord, I thank you for my mouth that I'm able to talk and to speak. Lord, I thank you for the activities of my limbs. I thank you for my hands. I thank you for my foot, you know. So many people, like, um, certain things have happened in their life where they have to get their arm amputated, their hand amputated, amputated, their leg. Some people don't even have a leg, so you just still... And then I still see them, like, I still see them going about their daily, uh, their daily tasks, even the ones that they don't have a, don't have their limbs. They still able to give God thanks and praise with the other limbs of their body. So, uh, a gift, you know, there are so many gifts, but, you know, gift of life, the gift of your limbs, you know, those are gifts too. And he said, Father, thank you for the gift of breath in my lungs and a new day around me. Speak. I'm listening. So this is the morning devotion for today, a gift. I pray you all was blessed by this morning devotion. So as you go on about your daily task, just think of think of so many gifts that God had already blessed you with. He had blessed you with your gift of a, a child. Um many a lot of gifts that God had gave you. And you don't know we, we don't take them for granted, you know. So you know, as you're riding in your car or when you in your workplace, just think of me, the many gifts that God has blessed you with, He has given unto you, and thank Him and give Him praise for it. So I pray that you all was blessed by this message, a gift. And until next time, it's your girl Melissa. Be blessed in Jesus' name. God bless.